What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. Now in today's video, as I promised yesterday, we're going to be focusing on TOEFL integrated writing. Now what I've done for today's video is just to save some time, I first typed my integrated writing template, which are the sentences in just normal letters. And I also went ahead and typed the readings information, okay? So the sentences, the parts of the sentences that are in bold and italics are going to be what I summarized from the reading passage. Okay. All right. Now let's get into the reading passage. In the introduction, you're going to be reading from the bottom up. Okay. So let's read the last sentence first. There is much speculation as to why the dodo disappeared, but experts have narrowed the reasons down to the actions of humans. This is a typo. Okay. So the reading's opinion is that dodos died or disappeared because of humans. The article strongly postulates that this is where you write the reading's opinion. Okay. People were responsible for the dodo's disappearance. That's how I decided to paraphrase it. Now, when you know what the reading's opinion is, you should also know what the topic is. Okay. The topic is whether or not dodos went extinct because of the actions of human beings. Now, since I typed human beings right over here, I wrote people down here. Okay, so we don't know exactly what the professor is going to say, but we have a really good idea of what it is. The professor is obviously going to say that people, human beings, were not responsible for the dodo's disappearance. Okay, now let's look at the first body. There were no humans on Mauritius prior to the Dutch's arrival, so the dodos had no fear of humans and thus were easily hunted. Now, this first sentence gave us everything we needed, the reason and detail, okay? Now I'm going to paraphrase that right here, or I already did paraphrase that right here. Okay. So first and foremost, according to the author of the excerpt, Dodos had no fear of humans since there weren't any on Mauritius before the Dutch's arrival. As a result, Dodos were easily captured and killed for food. Obviously some fair paraphrasing going on. If you're able to paraphrase like this, you're not going to get any point deductions from the reading passages summarization. Okay, now let's move on to the second body. When the Dutch colonized Mauritius, they began rapidly altering the land for farming. They cleared forests, which destroyed the dodo's natural habitats. Once again, thank you very much. The first and second sentence, this time two sentences, had everything we needed. Now, this is where I paraphrased the information that we just read. These claims refute the writer's implications of how the Dutch demolished the dodo's natural habitats by changing much of the land on Mauritius for farming purposes at a rapid pace. So once again, some paraphrasing was done. Okay, now uh, this is a typo. Once again, two commas. That shouldn't be there. I don't know who typed this. It wasn't me. No, it was me. I made a mistake. <laughs> okay, let's look at the last body. Some also speculate that the outsiders introduced a disease which proceeded to wipe out the dodos. Some diseases may pass from humans to animals or more commonly from animal to animal. Okay, so once again, I think this gave us everything we needed. Here it is. The Dutch may also have brought over new diseases which dodos weren't immune to and essentially wiped out the dodos population. Okay, so since we have everything from the reading that we need, which are the reading's opinion and the overall topic, and also the three reasons and major details. Now, all we need to do is listen to the lecture. And by the way, guys, it's only been three minutes and 50 seconds since this video started. So if I did this, the reading passage, uh, note taking process on my own, if I did that on my own, I would have definitely finished before three minutes. Okay. Now let's listen to the lecture. Okay, now before I turn on the lecture, I want you guys to look at the whiteboard and copy the same note taking diagram that you see. L stands for the listening's opinion and one, two, three stand for the first, second and third argument. Okay, here's the lecture. B. Listen to a lecture on the topic you just read about and complete the note diagram. Okay. One of history's great mysteries is the sudden extinction of the dodo bird. It was last spotted in the late 17th century on the island of Mauritius, the only place it ever existed. The cause of its extinction isn't precisely known, but it's certain that humans didn't cause it. Now, the dodo couldn't fly, nor was it very fast. It developed this way for ages because, well, it had no enemies on the island. At least not until humans arrived, 
Yet despite the ease with which they could catch it, the Dutch settlers were disgusted by it. Actually, the Dutch name for the dodo was Valvogel, meaning disgusting bird. Since the meat was tough and bad tasting, people didn't hunt the dodo or try to kill it at all. Some experts claim that the clearing of trees helped kill off the dodos, which built their nests in forested areas. While the Dutch deforested some areas for farmland, large parts of the island remained intact. Even when the last dodo was spotted in 1662, much land was free from deforestation. Additionally, many other species of birds have survived on the island since humans arrived. Besides the dodo, which couldn't fly, didn't make its nests in trees. It made them on the ground. So it's obvious that tree clearing wasn't a reason for the loss of this bird. Strangely, it may have been nature itself, not humans, which eliminated the dodos. There is evidence that they were already in decline when humans arrived. Massive cyclones struck the island many times in the past, and their high winds may have been responsible for destroying the dodos' nests and eggs while they lay unprotected on the open ground. Perhaps the birds encountered by the Dutch were the last remnants of a once populous species that was already on its way to dying out. Okay. Sounds good. We're done with the lecture. Okay, now let's take a close look at the lecture's information, the notes that I took down, and organize the sentences. Okay, so the listening's opinion, I'm going to change it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to move this here, okay? All right, so the lecture's opinion is, the sudden extinction of the dodo bird was not caused because of humans, okay? Or was not caused by humans. That would be much better. So let's take this out and change it to by. Okay, so this is the kind of breathing room. This is the kind of, um, these are the kind of things that you can do for integrated writing, but not for integrated speaking, at least not for that long. So for integrated writing, you have 20 minutes to type the essay. So even if your notes are a bit off, you have a lot of time to fix it, okay? So don't panic if you didn't take completely organized or neat notes all right let's look at the first argument despite ease with which catch blink disgusted named means disgusting bird because meat tough and bad tasting okay so what this means is um, although dodos were very easy to catch and hunt for food the dutch were disgusted by the dodo and even named the dodo something that meant disgusting bird in their own language. Why? Because the dodo's meat was very tough and bad tasting. So yeah, they, the Dutch didn't even want to eat dodos, although they never ran away from them. Okay, now the second argument. Uh, deforested some areas, but large parts of island intact and free. Intact means not broken, okay? So in this context, it means that it stayed in its original form. It didn't break from its original form and become farmland, okay? So intact means not broken. Plus, other bird species survived after the Dutchess arrived, probably. Okay, now the third argument. Already in decline before Blink. Because massive cyclones hit Blink and destroyed Blink on the ground. Over here, we're going to say island hit the island. And over here, we're going to say destroyed the dodo's nests or dodo's nests and over here we're going to say before the dutch's before the dutch all right arrived okay so i'm kind of tripping over my words i'm really sorry about that but that's basically what i took notes on and uh this time what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my computer and finish typing my sample essay okay and i'm going to be uh verbally organizing explaining what's going on so it's going to be a lot more helpful so let's go back to my computer Okay, guys, <clears throat> I actually decided to just type the entire essay instead of uh, showing you guys me typing it because, um, well, to be honest, I did that with my independent essay, and I don't think it's really entertaining. It's educational, definitely, but it's not very interactive, so I'm not going to do that. I mean, unless you guys want me to do it again in the future, let me know in the comment section if you like that style of video. Interestingly enough, let me know. Okay, so let's look at what I typed for the lecture's opinion. On the other hand, the listening adamantly delineates that the sudden extinction of the dodo bird wasn't caused by humans due to several compelling reasons. Now, 
I believe that most of you guys will agree with me on this, but this sentence is so much better than just typing that humans didn't make dodos go extinct, which is probably what you would have written if you didn't listen to the professor's opinion. So please listen to and take notes on the professor's opinion in the lecture. It's always going to be given to you in the beginning, okay? The last part of the introduction in the lecture even is the lecturer's opinion, okay? So pay close attention to that. All right, let's move on to the first argument. Nonetheless, the lecturer offsets these points by declaring that despite the ease with which the Dutch could hunt dodos, they were absolutely disgusted by them. The Dutch even named the dodo something that means disgusting bird in their native tongue, owing to the fact that the bird's meat was really tough and bad tasting. So that's exactly what I wrote on the board, okay, on the whiteboard. Um, on the whiteboard, the sentence was much simpler, but what I did while typing this first section was, I always, you, you always have to be thinking to yourself, how can I make this essay become better? Um, what, in what way can I make it so that I get a better grade on this essay? You always have to be concerned about those things. So even if the professor said something really simple, in, simple in the lecture, if you're able to make something simple become more elaborate with your writing skills, please do it. Okay. All right, let's move on to the second argument. Okay, so here's a warning, guys. If you didn't know before, the second body paragraph, in the second body paragraph, you need to write the lecturer's argument first and then move on to the reading's reason. Okay, so here's the second argument. The professor in the lecture further points out that the Dutch deforested some areas on Mauritius Island, but Large parts of the island were still intact and free from deforestation, even after, even after the Dutch were done changing the land. Oh my God, changing the land for agricultural purposes. That's exactly why you need to proofread. Plus, other bird species were able to survive on Mauritius Island after the Dutch settled there, implying that dodos shouldn't have been uh, dramatically affected by the Dutch's arrival. Okay, so that's the second argument. Um, let's move on to the third argument, which is right here, back to the normal order. None, nevertheless, the speaker and the lecture counters these in points by asserting that there's evidence that the Dodos population was already in decline even before the Dutch set foot on Mauritius. Set foot on. This means arrived at. Massive cyclones struck the island and their strong gusts of wind destroyed Dodos nests which were defenseless on the ground. Okay, that's the essay, guys. I'm done. All right, now, um, next time, well, to be honest, on this computer, I don't have the online stopwatch program downloaded, so that's why I'm not using it. But if I did have it downloaded, I would have shown you exactly how many minutes it would have taken me. Um, and like I said, I did that in my previous video, and I, I even don't think it's entertaining. I, I've never watched that video because it's so boring. But yeah, I'll, I'll think of ways to make the writing videos become more interactive. And, um, but your feedback is the most important for that, guys. You're the viewers. I'm the creator. Sometimes you have to take, you have to take two or three steps backwards to see the, to see the whole picture. And it's kind of hard for me to see the whole picture right now. So your feedback and constructive criticism will be greatly appreciated. Anyways. If you understood my uh, approach for this integrated writing assignment, hopefully you know what I'm gonna be doing for future integrated writing assignments because my problem solving method, my problem solving approach never changes. Well, I'm not gonna say never, but it rarely changes. It's always almost the same. If you guys have any questions about my problem solving approach, about my writing template, about this sample essay, Leave me a comment in the um, comment section, obviously. And hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't enjoy it, feel free to hit the thumbs down button. But if you're a first time viewer and you think that my videos were helpful to any extent, subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, let me know how you felt, okay? All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.